Hey y'all, Emily Edens here, the Potter Eden. And today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make this gorgeous sunflower using a paper stencil. Let's get right into it. So the main technique that we are focusing on today is this stencil. Um, it's just a paper stencil. Basically, I picked out my design and then I drew it right here on my sketch. And because I want those nice crisp lines, I'm going to do a paper stencil. I'm going to use just a normal spray gun and I'm going to wet this and then I'm going to wet my piece of clay and I'll stick it down. I'll paint on top of it and then peel it off to reveal this beautiful, crisp flower. Making sure that I'm getting it in just the right spot. Now, you can't reuse these. That is the sad part. You cannot reuse these guys. Once they have been used, they will more than likely rip, but then you'll also have little bits of leftover underglaze on top of it so you really don't want to reuse this now at this point you can kind of see how you can see through it now I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with a second layer and then go in with my yellow and then do that nice blending in the middle and get that nice gradient from yellow to orange. And basically under glaze is a mixture of clay and pigment. And so you want to put your under glaze on clay that is not bone dry but it's not been fired and it's not sopping wet. You want that nice in-between stage. Okay, so I've got that nice solid orange. Now I'm gonna be painting the middle brown, so I'm not really worried about getting colors everywhere. I'm gonna put my yellow on and then I'm gonna have to work very quickly when I do my mixing, when I'm doing the middle, that gradient, because what's gonna happen um, because this clay is fairly dry, it's going to soak up that moisture like crazy. Another thing about underglaze is that this is not going to melt in the kiln like glaze, like normal glaze would. It's going to show all of those lines kind of like slip trailing, where the purpose of slip trailing is to show you that texture. Well, with underglaze, you're going to get all of that texture. So make sure that when you put it on there, you're doing it how you want it.
just giving it that nice vein in the petals gives it that texture which is exactly what I'm looking for Now I think I'm going to add that center. I really like how my petals are looking. But I really want to make sure that I'm getting the edge of my stencil here. Because I did paint into the center with my orange. I am a very minimal person when it comes to painting and decorating my ceramics. And so I really didn't want to put anything behind this. I really wanted to showcase that ter terracotta because I think it's really pretty. Um, however, something that's wonderful about stencils is that when you're using them, you can have some sort of background. So if you wanted to paint, let's say a contrasting color like blue behind the sunflower to give it a nice pop, you can always do that. You put your underglaze, your blue underglaze on first, and then you apply your stencil and do exactly as I'm doing. You just get it wet, stick it on there, and apply your pigment. Um, I could have also put some nice big leaves underneath, but I really, like I said, I kind of minimal when it comes to my pottery. And I think I want to finish this off with some nice little white dots, kind of give it a little bit of a highlight in the center. Okay, I've got this exactly how I want it. Now I'm gonna take my pen tool and I'm gonna peel it up. Now this is the most satisfying part. This is the part that I love so much. Ooh, look at that. How beautiful is that? Now I can go in and touch up like my brown around the edges where I didn't quite get it. But yeah, with a stencil you get this beautiful crisp edge. It's very nice. And it's something that's just kind of hard to paint all by itself. So. What I like to do, like for this edge right here, I like to take a curved um, knife tool and then just scrape it off. And then I go back in and smooth it out with my paintbrush and smooth out my surface. Now, I don't really want to scrape off any of my leaf, so I'm just going to take a wet paintbrush and paint it off of there. Something beautiful about underglazes is that they're kind of like watercolors if they dry out just add some water to it and voila usable once again okay 
So then what I want to do is I'm going to take my bigger brush just because it's easier to kind of blend out my surface with the bigger brush, but it's just like painting, just smoothing out that surface. Being careful not to paint over anything else. Just like new. At this point, I want to show you something called Scraffito. Now, Scraffito is just making lines um, that it'll expose the clay that's underneath your underglaze. So I want to add something to these leaves that kind of give them dimension. And so what I'm gonna do, I've got these little vein marks in my different colors and I'm just gonna outline them with my pen tool using the Scraffito technique. Thank you all so much for joining me for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button. Go ahead and drop me a comment letting you know what you thought about my video, um, if there's anything you want me to cover next time, or just comments that you have in general. If there's something that you've learned that I didn't cover, go ahead and put it in the comment section. And guys, make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified anytime that I put out any new content. Again, thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!